After taking a look at and reviewing the $16 NPET K70, which was at the time the cheapest gaming keyboard on Amazon with red, green, and blue backlighting, the question had to be asked, just how low can you go? Well, this, this is how low you can go. The GearHead 107 key Windows keyboard, which is a full USB keyboard with a price fluctuating between five and 10 US dollars, and is often the cheapest USB keyboard on Amazon with free shipping. But is it any good, or would you be better buying something at your favorite overpriced coffee chain? Well, let's find out. <laughs> First thing to know about this keyboard is that if you wanted any flashy features, then you'll be sorely disappointed. The two closest things to hot new features on this keyboard would be the light up indicators for caps, scroll, and num lock, and the very unstable wobbly feet to prop the keyboard up onto a more ergonomic position. That also has the added side effect of perfectly accentuating every last one of this keyboard's flaws. From the almost laughable amount of flex in the chassis in every single direction, to how the anti-slip rubber feet might as well not be there, to the look and feel of the keyboard which screams of corner cutting, as well as the cheapest plastic that the manufacturer could get their hands on, as well as a cable that must have been created from whatever was left in the trash bin at the end of the day. And as far as typing, forget ABS plastic or anything else that might make a good typing experience. Letters and text are crudely painted on, the keys are more unstable than the current American president, and forget about any expandability or easily serviceable parts, as this keyboard has literally none. However, despite all those flaws, after the control key broke on my main keyboard, and with some getting used to, I was able to use this keyboard as my primary keyboard for about three months before I could get around to ordering a new one, a period of time which involved me writing all of my midterm papers. So I guess that demonstrates the perfect use case in my eyes for this keyboard, and also brings me to the conclusion a little bit earlier than usual. At under $10, should you buy this keyboard? For almost everyone, that is a pretty hard no but at the same time, a completely definite yes. Nobody should buy this keyboard to be used as their main keyboard, as for only five or $10 more, you could pick up the NPET K10 or NPET K110, which are all around much better keyboards. But should you buy this keyboard as a backup to store in a drawer? In my opinion, absolutely yes. Whether it's as simple as your main keyboard breaking, just needing to troubleshoot something, or you simply need a second keyboard for something, this keyboard will be there, without needing to mess around with RGB software, drivers, or any other number of problems that can come around from today's manufacturers shoving every last feature they can in these keyboards. Which I guess brings me to my final conclusion that sometimes an ugly duckling with knives for feathers does just have a purpose. That was a really stupid metaphor.